Fest 2005 in the heart of downtown Muncie, where you'll find some of the best ribs around. Let's see what's cooking. the special events coordinator for downtown development. Now Cheryl, what does it take to put something like this together? A whole bunch of wonderful people, um, the vendors, uh, wonderful media partners, and then of course people to come out and enjoy all of it. We had 15 bands on two stages, uh, 24 food vendors, uh, 23 arts and crafts vendors and community information, um, and most of their friends and neighbors on the street with them. <laughs> awesome. Well. I think we're going to go check it out. Um, I noticed that on your sign it says Georgia style ribs. What exactly does uh, the Georgia style, um, how does that differ from other ribs that are brought here today? Uh, basically it's a kind of base thing that we use on the uh, rib. A lot of the southern states, they don't load them up with sauce. Uh, they kind of use a base thing. And then if people want sauce, more Indiana, you know, they use the sauce on it up north. But uh, that's kind of what makes it the Georgia style. Nice. Is that your uh, secret to winning in this competition, or? Yeah. Well, pretty pretty much. It kind of gives us an edge. The secret? Yeah. Well, the secret is we marinate them with love and happiness. And uh, oh, look at that. And uh, the secret is in the marinade. And that's, that's about the best. That's about the only thing I can tell you. The secret is in the marinade, and if I told you, well, you have a CIA, FBI, DEA, everybody be after you if I told you the secret in this. Oh, I, good cooks don't tell their secret though. <laughs> so what they say, if we give away our secret, we'd have to kill you. <laughs> so we're the only ones who like hickory smoke our ribs. Hopefully that'll bring us a bit of an advantage. But as far as the sauce, I. I think we're heads above the rest. We'll see. It's our first year out here. Um, so we're definitely excited to be out here. That's why, you know, uh, if we do well, it's nice. But, you know, since this is our first year, we're just looking to have a good showing. But winning is always nice, you know. You don't want to do all this work for nothing. Your next one will be number 15. On the big wheel, number 15. Well, first off, the thing that makes this competition so good is that there are many different dimensions that we judge the ribs on. There's appearance, overall presentation, which is always a key factor in how you have your food, the way you judge it. Then we had sauce to deal with, and that was covered the grounds of texture, flavor, and so on. Then we did meat, the same thing, texture, flavor, appearance. You know, the best thing that I could imagine doing is having my face stuffed full of ribs all day long because I love ribs.
since Ribfest has been handled by Downtown Development, I've been involved with it. Uh, very first year, Cheryl Crowder asked me if I would be kind of the head judge and keep it all legal and honest, and I've been doing that ever since. So, I don't know, I guess this is my sixth one, being the head judge, sick rib fest. Killer, man, so one of the best events we do all summer. We have 25 food vendors here today, we have 56 total vendors, we have a classic cruise show, car drive-in, that's uh, between five and seven this evening, got some great cars, 15 bands on stage all day. I'm from Muncie, Indiana. I haven't been here in 13 years, but I just moved back last week, and I moved back for this. To make a long story short, my uh, grandfather uh, was a big barbecue guy, and when he died, he didn't leave us his recipe. And I was around 11 years old then. So I started trying to recreate his recipe, and I came across my own recipe. Over the course of about six years, I, I just I, I, got a, I got a recipe that everybody was liking. I had you know my friends and neighbors try it out and everyone was like you really need to put those in bottles. There are some individuals who like a hotter sauce, some people think it's too hot, but then we, we learned that we can't please everybody, but we the overall response has been pretty positive. And I'm with Heine's Restaurant at the Reservoir. We've been open about three months now and this is probably the best advertising we could get. It was the opportunity to come here and compete with 20 other vendors and come out on top. They, t they taste it, look at it, smell it, whatever they want to do to it, and then they fill out a ballot for each one. And all I tell them to begin with, it says vendor number, they'll put the number that's on that box so they don't know who the vendors are that they're judging. I, I total everything up, whoever has the most numbers, that's the winner.